Oregon's Mount Hood. Every year, 10,000 people try to reach its summit, making it the most climbed mountain in the United States. But Mount Hood can also be deadly. In the past century, it has taken more than 100 lives. Several more are now at stake. This is on Mount Hood, on the south side, about 800 feet from the peak. We have seven people down, possibly four injured. They fell into the crevice. An astounding freak accident. A climber at the very top of the mountain fell and crashed into his partners. In a flash, nine climbers went tumbling down the slope and into a rocky crevasse 800 feet from the peak. Three are dead. Three more are seriously hurt. Rescuers race to the scene, almost 11,000 feet up. They airlift two injured climbers off the mountain. But the shocking tragedy is about to get even worse, and news crews are there to capture it. Just as a helicopter is about to hoist up the third injured climber, 26-year-old Jeremiah Moffitt, the winds shift. The chopper loses lift. In the thin air of the mountain peak, it can't regain altitude. Rescue jumper Andrew Canfield is in the back. You can imagine you and a couple guys in a tumble dryer. That's what it was like. Amazingly, Andrew is thrown from the wreckage. I remember being shot out of the helicopter and thinking, this is wonderful, I'm, I'm outside of the helicopter, thank God, I'm safe. Then I realized, well, I'm downhill from the helicopter. The chopper rolls over Andrew. It's 22,000 pounds, crush him into the mountainside. It's somersaults 800 feet before finally coming to a stop. This accident could easily claim half a dozen lives. Remember, injured climber Jeremiah Moffat is tethered to the chopper's hoist cable. The flying debris could kill Jeremiah or anyone else on the slope. The chopper's weight could crush Andrew Canfield. Miraculously, everyone survives. Protected by the snowpack, Andrew Canfield escapes with minor injuries. Most of the chopper's crew also emerge relatively unscathed. And thanks to the quick thinking of a crewman who pushed a button and severed the chopper's hoist cable, even Jeremiah Moffat is spared. Another helicopter airlifts him to the hospital, where he recovers fully. I don't think too many people go through two near-death experiences within a couple hours. Mm -hmm. Tragically, on this day, three have died on Mount Hood. It could easily have been much worse.